currently on day 900. Let's put 100 days on the clock and let's see what we can get done before day 1000. The plan for the day is to set up one of the most useful farms in the game, but with a skeleton farm. Now of course we could make one of those standard with a skeleton farms, but I want to have some fun instead. That is why we're going to set up a with a skeleton roller coaster. This is not going to be a small project. Let's get to the drawing board and try to plan out a smart way to do this. Two hours later. I told you guys I'd find a good use for these interiors. But as for the plan. Before we go anywhere near the fortress, we need a ton of fire resist potions against the blazes. After that, we need to get a couple of wither skeleton skulls for wither roses and beacons. We clear out the fortress, set up the spawn platforms for the wither skeletons, and a kill chamber and storage to get all the XP and the drops. Just done. The fortress we use is the one we found in episode 2. It is fully inside of the Souls and Valley, which means that the rates will be pretty decent even if we don't spawn proof all the terrain surrounding it yet. And with the being is now set up as well, I think we're safe to go get some Wither Skulls and not keel over while getting them. And 12 skulls later, I think we got everything we need. And I don't think I've shown it yet, but during Halloween I managed to catch not one, not two, but three jackal left with the skeletons. We might be using those somewhere today. Maybe. Let's make sure the entire fortress is completely safe now. If we set up torches all across the fortress, the only mobs that should be able to spawn should be blazes. Which is fine. I love potions. With the fortress all made safe from the actually dangerous spawns, it is time to start clearing out the space we need for the farm. But to it. Hello? With the fortress all made safe from the actually dangerous spawns, it is. Right, as I was saying, it is time to start clearing out the space we need for the farm. Not a bad start. My tools are completely done now though, so before anything, a quick trip to repair them. That's better. With a bit more mining, building some gas, mining some more blocks, repairing the tools, buying a new bow from Bob, repairing the old bow, more mining, clearing out mobs. Even more repairing. And mining out the last bits. All the fortress blocks are now out of the way. Bar one small facade to keep one of my jack o' lantern guys safe. But with 80,000 nether brick mine, it's become the number one mine block in the world. Granted, though, it beats stone with not even 100 blocks. But it is number one. Next up is getting the resources ready for the spawn platforms and transporting the wither skeletons. For this, we mostly need wither roses, a fair bit of glass and a ton of golden iron for the rails. The wither roses I've been getting bit by bit from the improvised wither rose farm when we're getting beacons. But for a wither skeleton farm, you can really never have enough of those. That will never get old. Plus it's easy enough to get as well. We got iron galore in the blacksmith. Which leaves us with just a gold to go get some more of. But we could go mining for some more. Or we could set up a gold farm for it. But I think I just want to rid a couple of bastions for it. That way, besides all the gold, we might also stumble upon some netherite and some netherite smithing templates. To finally upgrade our armor. The start armor trim. Nice. Ooh, not chapel. That is what we like to see. A bridge bastion. Three gold. Nope. 
if we don't fall down. And that's a lesson learned. Don't just fly into a bastion without clearing it properly. Not too bad for an hour and a half. Three and a half stacks gold almost. A fair bit of netherite upgrades. And a good bit of netherite I'd say. And for some reason, nine snout better patterns. Probably will never use them, but oh well. I think we can start setting up the first few spawning platforms to see if my idea actually works. The plan is to have several lines of spawn platforms leading off of a central area. I want each of these lines to be 3 layers tall and 5 blocks wide. On the side of these I want to put trapdoors so the wither skeletons will fall down, and opposite of it small places to hold some iron golems to lure the skeletons in. We'll leave the collection area as a glass box for a bit. Well, at, at least he's working. Wait, how did you get a sword? Hold up. Let me, let me get you a boat. Hold up. There we go. Another special one. And that is the second line also done. I did put off putting the golems in for now, for obvious reasons. So let's make sure that these guys can't spawn anymore, that we get a bit more quiet around here while we set up a rest. And with that little bit already being the first two shovels, I think I want to repair them real quick and maybe get two or three spare ones right away. A couple of mending books. And I guess he might as well repair the bow. After we get some more levels though. That's looking more decent. And with all the tools repaired we can now very epically dig out some soul sand. Mine even more but now with the camera slowly rolling over. Two shotting a blaze with a new bow. And mining even more, but this time Netherrack while backing up the camera. Okay, who am I kidding? It's just Insta mining some blocks. <sighs> A few hours later and all the spawnable area along with a big chunk of the area in general is now fully cleared out. Nah man. As I was saying, most of the area is now fully dug out and with that bringing netherrack neatly into our top 3 of blocks mine as well as soul sand and soul soil into a comfortable place 5 and 6. But with only 25 days left on the counter, I think it's about time to get working on the core of this farm.
but a little bit of rustling later, everything is now in place. With this lever behind us, right next to the arm set, that should turn the entire system on and off now. It will extend the rest some block out here to make sure that this clock turns on so the collection system will start working. And at the same time, it will push down this observer and slime block into this clock right here. It has the same timing as the clock over here. And it will keep powering the rails and in turn all these observers that are going to be dispensing our minecarts over here. Now it's just going to be a matter of hooking up the spawning platforms. We'll just connect up the first one over here. See if that kind of works. If it wants to work, we'll connect the second one and after that the other ones as well obviously. Nice. Let's test it. Silly amount of minecarts goes in there. That should be over 100 minecarts in total. Sure, that'll last a bit, right? Surely. And let's see what happens. All the minecarts seem to be dispensed quite nicely already. Evenly paced out. That is looking good so far. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, that's not good. That's, yeah, that's not good. Um, I think I made a spawnable block somewhere. Let's fix that. Let's, yeah, let, let's fix that. This is my life now. That should have been all spawning spots. At least two tall taken out of the way. Let's try again. <clears throat> First try. That is nice again. Everything getting picked up. That pickup is smooth. That's good. At least that part is good. Let, let's see how this goes. Uh, they're still getting over there. Great. I think I found one solution though. By some Minecraft magic. It is possible to have this trapdoor open? Yeah, magic. Well, uh, yep. That's Minecraft for you. Third time is the charm. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that, surely. That is all still going smoothly. Please, please dispense them in the right spot. Please, 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 please. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That is what we like to see. Oh. That is what we like to see. All of them cramming together right in there. More ones coming in as we speak. And the mind guards returning to the original state. That is absolutely gorgeous. And what we can do is just swipe away at this. And we can hit the wither skeletons. Our loot gets picked up almost instantly. And gets dropped right down there. I'd call it a success. Nice. And that should be the second line fully set up as well. I kind of want to test this with both lines in just to see how it goes. If both of these work though, I'm confident that we can set all eight up. But let's, let's play it safe, right? Minecarts away, that's looking good. These are all getting in excellence. And this seems like a full line to me as well. I like it. And they all get exactly into the right spot as well. That is absolutely perfect. The rates aren't too great yet though. I think though this could turn out to be pretty nice as soon as we got everything in. At least it's working though. That's a bright side. Let's put in like one or two minecarts. And let's give it a proper test with all five lines now set up. 
two seconds later. Well, that ain't good. So I think I see the issue already this time around. I'm, I'm just not smart. We can't have this corner piece right here. That will make the two Minecrafts collide in the corner. Yeah, I should have thought of that. Wait, 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 wait. Did we lose our jack o' lantern? No, we lost our jack o' lantern with the skeletons. When did that happen, though? Well, at, at least he's working. That's the entire farm working. That, that, that's, that's only day 997. It's, we didn't cut it close. No. Not at all. And storage seems to be doing alright as well. I don't mind, I don't mind. With a little bit of cleaning up, that leaves us on day 999. With infinite bones, coal, and of course with the skeleton skulls now at hand whenever we need. And I think that allows us a little treat. Upgrading all the lost tools and gears into netherite. Even the new achievement. Now isn't that looking a lot better already? Watching the sunset and heading to bed, it means that we have now officially survived 1000 days in this world. Looking back, we've done it son already. Several districts to the main city we're building. A farming village with plenty of fields and surroundings. Defeated both the dragon and the wither in open field. A solid amount of farm set up. And now topped off with a wither skeleton farm. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.